Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Madiha Hassan, and uh, we will be discussing today about marketing communications. The module code for it is BMM5562, and the session that we are covering today is Scope of Marketing Communications. So uh, the teaching schedule for this module is, uh, as you can see, it is divided into nine weeks, uh, week one, week two, week three, week four. And there are different topics that we will be discussing in these weeks. So week one is about introduction to uh, the module. Um, and week two is about the marketing communication plan. Week three is about marketing research. Week four is about brand positioning and relationships. Week five is about creative strategy. Week six is about campaign strategy and planning. Week seven, uh, campaign strategy and planning too. Then performance measurement controls and performance measurement control um, part two. Okay, so this in, in week 10, you will have group uh, presentations and report submissions uh, for marketing communications. Okay, so if we look at the how assessments are um, are being uh, done in this in this assignment in this uh, module. Um, so you will there are three components. Uh, so the first component is quiz and you will be having three quiz of 10% each, uh, which is going to be in week five, seven and eight. And the um, learning outcomes or objectives that are assessed in this is one, two and four. Then we have group uh, marketing plan presentation. Uh, that is um that is for 15 minutes it has 20 percent of the weightage and uh, it will be at the end of the semester then uh, we also have an individual marketing pl communication plan assignment um, that is going to be uh, a report or plan it is 2000 words and the weightage for it is 57 uh, 50% and uh, there there are five learning outcomes that are assessed in that marketing communication so the learning outcome for today's session is we are going to compare and contrast the various aspects of the marketing mix. Uh, we will be elaborating marketing communication plan, um, a demonstrate ability of working in a team and uh, investigate the strengths and limitations of a range of promotional techniques, including advertising, public relations, sales promotion, direct marketing and e-marketing and personal selling and sponsorship. <laughs> So let's get started. Uh, these are the learning outcomes for today. Um, yeah. So if we look at um, look at this bottle of water, uh, we can see that twenty years ago, a uh, bottled water sector did not exist as such in UK. Even ten years ago, if we look at it, almost nobody carried a water of uh, bottle of water with them unless they were exercising. Uh, where we all knew about the benefits of hydration, obviously, uh, we just did not know we needed to buy it or we should. And now, if we look at uh, the 2009 statistics, it says that UK bottle, bottled water sales has topped 4 billion litres and 3 billion pounds which is huge so just in the 10 year, in the matter of 10 years um, we know that we need hydration and we also know that we need to buy that why who told us this and here's a thought the major bottle uh, water markets are in the west where our water supply is plentiful safe and free i don't know why let's let's check it out Yes, in those regions of the world where they need it most, they don't have bottled water because they can't afford it. So is it a consumer-led demand or marketing-created uh, market? Do we need them or they have created a need of it? We need to see that. So what it is? Uh, essentials of marketing communication. So what is market, I'm oh, sorry, what is marketing communication? Marketing communication is an audience centered activity which encourages engagement between participants and provokes conversation with the emphasis on multiple conversations. So when you are communicating with as an audience or as a consumer, uh, when you are communicating with um, 
with your favorite brand that is basically marketing communication and if you're communicating with them more than often it means that their marketing communication strategy is successful who are the participants in the market communication there are two basic participants the sender and the receiver the sender is the mostly the brand which is promoting their pro uh, product and audience is normally the consumers who are actually looking for product who is the audience? Audience refers specifically to the group of consumer targeted by advertisements and all associated marketing communications activity. Uh, not to be confused with a target market. A target market, market is specific, well-defined segment of consumer that a product plans to target with its product services and marketing activities. For example, if a product is just uh, looking for uh, uh, focusing on children, so that is a target market, okay? But target audience is different. Target audience is the uh, group of consumer targeted by advertisements. An audience-centered perspective of marketing communication. If you see at the uh, it, it, in this um, slide, it says it gives you a kind of model of audience experience. So how it is connected. It is connected with the tools, the tools we are using for marketing, the media we are using, for example, social media, television, advertisements, uh, and, and others. Then what is the message? What is the message that we are delivering? Then people, processes, and system. What are the people? Who are the people we are targeting, to, targeting it to? And what tools we are using? Okay, these are the essentials of marketing, uh, marketing communication according to Chris Fett. Marketing communication aims to encourage audience engagement. Engagement. Now, what is engagement? Engagement refers to an audience captivation through the creation of messages that are relevant, meaningful, of interest, and arise uh, curiosity. Uh, I will not be buying anything which is not relevant to me, or I will not even looking at the advertisement which is not. So if how they, they make it relevant, they see that okay what what are my activities so they uh, this is how they will create engagement meaningful uh, it should be meaningful it should serve the purpose of interest if something is not of my interest i, I probably will not be looking at that uh, kind of uh, or i will not be engaged uh, with that kind of advertisement uh, and arise curiosity for example if i am i am a mother Okay, I will be interested in a uh, product which are for children. That is natural. Um, or if I am working, um, working specifically for something, for example, if I'm a baker, I will be interested more in baking products or baking videos. So this this kind of thing, uh, maybe it, it is of interest that arise curiosity. So uh, I would be more interested in advertisement, which which will, um, which for which I. I will have curiosity that oh what's going to happen next what going what's going to happen next so this is how they do the engagement so what is the purpose of marketing communication so marketing marketing communication has as you can see in the hand there are five things you can see advertising pr and publicity direct marketing personal selling and promotion so how we are going to do that and why basically we are going to do that to increase awareness Communicate brand ethos, promise, and benefits. How you are going to know about the brand if you don't have, don't see its advertisements. Um, differentiate a brand slash product from a competitor offerings. So, um, how would I know that Asda is um is cheaper or providing products cheaper than Tesco because they advertise it, or well, they will advertise. Now we we can see uh even in Asda and uh, Tesco, if you go there, they say that oh our our price is matching to Aldi. So this is one of the thing that um, what competitor is offering, we are providing better than you, but better than them. Uh, reassurance and reinforce consumer uh, customer opinion, then um, persuade customers to act. The, obviously, marketing, the whole marketing base is on customer satisfaction and retention. Okay. Um, 
now, uh, yeah, so this is how our marketing communication works. Um, in the next class, we will be discussing about understanding integrated marketing communications, IMC planning process, and assessed team planning development. And uh, I would request you to please go through uh, the preparation for this session. Uh, the essential reading is uh, from Chris Affil, Essentials of Marketing Communications. It's part two, chapter four and five for the next class. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.